mother shot dead inside of her car at a Westchester shopping center. Police say her estranged husband, the gunman, then shot himself. This afternoon, that husband is in the hospital with life-threatening injuries, and now we're learning the couple's daughter witnessed the whole thing. CBS 4's Gabby Fleischman joins us live from Westchester with more. Gabby? Elliot, police say the couple's 15-year-old daughter was here with her mother and witnessed the attempted murder-suicide. According to investigators, the couple had been separated for quite some time, and they met up in the parking lot here to exchange some property. That's when they got into an argument and shots were fired. A busy shopping plaza turned into a crime scene overnight. I heard a gunshot and a scream, and... I didn't really think much of it at first. We were getting ready to go into Aldi's to do food shopping and just heard a bang. Dozens of shoppers hearing the gunshot that left a mother dead inside of her car Tuesday. I heard a gunshot and then I saw a girl running to cars and I, didn't, I wasn't sure she was laughing or crying. And then I see someone turn around like just holding himself and then he turned back around and it was all dark. So I ran to the back letting everybody know that someone got shot. And then they all ran to the front and then they heard the second one and then we called 911. Witnesses say the shooting happened at these two cars, a red sedan and a white SUV parked in the lot of a shopping center along 87th Avenue and Coral Way. According to investigators, 43-year-old Lourdes Rodriguez Martinez met her estranged husband to exchange property. The pair started fighting, and investigators say the man shot Lourdes, then turned the gun on himself. There were choppers flying overhead, and there was this complete pandemonium behind us in the shopping center. They already had it blocked off. There was already yellow tape there. I'm just un in disbelief that it would happen here in this area. Police say the man was taken to Kendall Regional Medical Center with life-threatening injuries. Lourdes died on scene. Their 15-year-old daughter was there to witness it all. And you did see the girl sitting on the curve. She was crying, holding herself. And investigators are still waiting to notify family before releasing the alleged shooter's identity. They say right now he is still in the hospital in critical condition. Live from Westchester, Gabby Fleischman, CBS 4 News.